Hi, this is Numeric Citizen here. In today's video, I'm trying to find an answer to the following question. Which is better between Apple Notes or Craft? Let's find out. For the first part of this video, I'm going to show you Apple Notes in action. Uh, as you can see on my screen here, I have a note that I've created uh, using Apple Notes and I'll show you a few uh, highlights of the uh, software features. Uh, as you can see, you can have a, uh, some formatting that you can apply to the uh, content and you use those uh, formatting options uh, for you to, uh, to use. Uh, it's pretty similar to uh, Craft. Uh, so we have the list of uh, things, uh, monospace, body, subheading, heading, and the title. We have also different attributes to the actual text. Uh, we can create a uh, checkbox. We can also create uh, hyper hyperlink uh, or URL. Uh, you can paste images and you can, so you can see pretty quickly how a rich uh, formatting uh, document uh, can look like. Uh, you can also insert a table. As you can see here, we can set the um, table title, but it's not treated as a, type ta a table title itself. It's only a way of formatting it. Uh, for it, for the, the row to uh, stand out. Uh, there is no calculation within the, uh, a note uh, table. Uh, you can also share uh, this uh, note to somebody if you want to send um, the content of the note. You can also ask for someone to collaborate with the note itself by using um, a, a text, a text message, an email, uh, just generate an, an, a link uh, to the share note and then you can just send it to the uh, to someone else. So it's pretty much uh, what you're seeing here about um, Apple Notes. Uh, if I look into Craft, as you can see here, uh, you can see that uh, we can uh, arrange um, documents within folders just like we can do in Notes, but in Notes we cannot have a subfolders which we can do uh, with Craft. Um, there is something Craft is not able to do is smart folders based on something like tags. Speaking of tags, if I go there, I can tap a high, um, I can uh, type some tags there. As you can see, that's pretty easy to, uh, to set. And then you can create smart folders based on those tags, which will create a folder dynamically updated with all the documents that meet the uh, actual uh, tags in the in the search um, uh, field. Uh, you cannot do that in Craft. So, uh, but what you can do in Craft, you can create um, uh, backlinks, which allows you to. Um, create a link between one document and the other one. And when you are in the other one, you can go back to the source of the link. Uh, so also you can have a lot of uh, formatting option as you can see here in this uh, uh, folder list where I set all the documents to look as uh, tiles. Uh, if I go within a specific a document like the craft bible as you can see there is a lot of options for me to uh, set the general formatting of the uh, document and also i can just go within a specific document and set all the blocks in a specific colors so as you can see there is a lot of things we can do in craft compared to notes um, and in the next section i'll go um, highlight the major strength of each application and see which one is winning or is better. To try to find an answer to the question, I'll be using this table comparing both apps, Apple Notes and Craft. Uh, from a page content formatting uh, side of view, uh, I would say that uh, Craft is way better than Apple Notes as you saw in the uh, in the previous examples. Um, Craft allow for a very rich uh, content formatting. Um, images manipulation and formatting also is better in Craft compared to Apple Notes. Um, bookmark handlings is way better in Craft because you have a uh, preview where you can uh, have for each bookmarks, something that we cannot have under Apple Notes. Cont content types uh, import options. I would give a, an edge to Craft compared to Notes where you can import videos, images, markdown files and things like that. So here again, Craft is winning. 
Markdown, markdown support. Uh, you can write a markdown uh, in markdown format using Craft, but you cannot do that in Apple Notes. Table support. I would give an edge again to Craft because I think first the, it supports uh, calculations. Um, you can have, I think, a more flexibility with uh, manipulation of tables within Craft compared to Apple Notes. But uh, I'm not sure if uh, Notes uh, limits. Uh, 100, 100 rows as uh, Craft does. So it's a limitation that makes Apple Notes a bit better in that in that respect. Quick Notes is fully integrated in Apple Notes, something that Craft doesn't support. Uh, Apple Pencil support, again, is way better on Apple Notes, which on the Craft side, you can uh, sure create a block with some scribble in it, but it's pretty much it. So there's no added value of using an Apple Pencil with a uh, craft tags i mean tags are not supported in craft is if this is something important to you for content organization then apple notes is a big win here smart folders there is a few available in uh, craft but you cannot create your own which is something that you can do in apple notes uh, based on tags Content sharing, I would say uh, Apple Notes is good at sharing documents with others, but Craft is a bit better on that uh, side of the story. Content organization is again better on the Craft side because you can group uh, documents within folders or subfolders, something that you cannot do with Notes, which is limited only to one level folders. Collaborative work, I would say that um, Craft and Apple Notes are about the same. Uh, both support mention. Uh, they can people can work together in the same document and see what's going on. I do prefer Apple Notes implementation a bit over Craft, but I would say that both are pretty much equal. Equal data encryption is only available on Apple Notes. Uh, it's not available yet on Craft. Content protection with a password. Uh, only Apple Notes support that. So if security is important to you, then uh, you have a few answers there. Backlink support. Well, Craft is uh, uh, allows you to create backlinks between documents so you can organize uh, or create a network of information within uh, a Craft space. So I guess uh, Craft is winning there. Overall application design. Well, Apple Notes is good. It feels somehow uninspired, but Craft is way better in that respect. I think it's a good example of a multi-platform application. Um, uh, no, no, no question uh, on that side. So who's winning? Well, it depends. Uh, Apple Notes win if it's mostly about writing text uh, with very low expectation regarding text or content formatting and it's exclusive to the Apple ecosystem. So if you are working on Windows, well, you will have to use the Apple website iCloud.com in order to be able to see and edit any notes within Apple Notes. Craft, otherwise, is a winner. If uh, you want to transform a document as mini website, this is really good uh, with Craft. It's pretty easy to do. If you care more about uh, text and you want to organize your content, uh, again, Craft is better uh, because you can use folders to organize your content. And also, if you care about formatting uh, with a rich uh, content, then again, I think Craft is the big winner here where your document can look very nice and because it supports more complex documents. So is the winner. Well, it depends on your needs. Um, if you are okay with basic text formatting, then uh, Apple Notes is great. If you want more complex content formatting, then uh, Craft is the winner here. Uh, also, you may be considering uh, to use both depending on your workflow or your requirements. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like it. I hope you better understand how Craft compares to Apple Notes and which one to use in depending on your requirements. Thank you for being there. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. 
don't be shy and put comments in the comment section below the video and thank you again for being there and see you for another one bye